Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich like me? Well, go over to Messi Modding Services where you can buy GTA 5 modded accounts, GTA 5 money, and rank for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Check their website out in the link below. And if you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. Okay, so this story starts three years ago. Well, actually, it's not quite three years ago. It's like two years and ten months, something like that. But anyway, let me tell you what happened. It all started on the 26th of October, 2017. Now, this guy who you can see on the screen right now, he was killing me over and over in the jet using Ghost Dog, and I thought he was a noob, so I was just trying to get a nice shot on him. Maybe a nice RPG. So I managed to get him on ground. We have a little sniper fight. He kills me once, I kill him twice, and he goes in passes and leaves. Unfortunately, I actually lost the clips from that time, so I've had to try and fill them in with new clips. And also, you'll see he's on my friends list. Now, I actually added him a while ago so I could join him and try and kill him, get my kills back or something like that. But now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. You can see I called him out for a 1v1 because his kills were in chat and he's calling me a noob. And then after that, I don't message him for a while until our second encounter, which you're going to see right now. So you can see in the minimap, he's actually on my friends list at the moment. We've had a few kills. He thinks I'm using BST. I wasn't. But anyway, let's see what happens in this fight. Why are you running? So yeah, after I kill him once, this guy runs away and goes passive. Like, what? He then asked me to go beach, so I'm presuming he's like sniper only. Really. But I think as you guys know, I'm pretty good at beach. Then again, he sends me another message. This was a long time ago, so I'm not really sure what he means. But I'm basically just trying to bait him to come out passive. But none of my methods work, and he still really wants me to come back to the beach. If this was me now, I probably would have just gone straight to the beach. But for some reason, I really wanted to try and fight him in the city. But yeah, he seems pretty annoyed. He starts talking about how I'm going to use BST, even though it was literally impossible for me to drop BST in this session. This basically goes on for like 10 minutes. I can't believe I actually spent this much time arguing with him when I literally just end up going to the beach anyway. So a few messages later and I can't be bothered to wait anymore so I just go to the beach anyway. And he's trying to flex on an old win when he used a jet anyway. But uh, this is more of a fair fight so let's see what happens. Now even though I'm at the beach he says that he's waiting at the beach. It's an absolute brain box of a person. Eventually we get the fight going. So if you didn't get what happened, I basically destroyed him. And then one of my friends seemed to kill me in the back for some reason. I have no clue why. And then he registered as a CEO and started the Sightseer mission, which back then used to make it so no one else in the session but him could use BST, which was really overpowered. So yeah, this guy was talking about wanting a fair fight, saying that he could beat me fair, stuff like that. And now he has to use cheap tactics, basically make it so he's got three times more health and three times more damage than anyone else in the session. Now this is one of the main reasons why I don't add people, is because you guys may want to help me out, but most of the time it ruins the fight when I just want to play by myself. Or it like makes the fight outnumbered and unfair for the other person. So these guys were all people that had me, because they knew who I was. And it was just really frustrating. <laughs>
So this guy says he's going to be out and he's going to come back later. Uh, I was pretty mad, not going to lie. I was a pretty angry 17-year-old boy. But uh, this is his screenshot on me. This is the first encounter we had. He got me 7-1. to one. That wasn't the final score. I think I got like 2 snub kills or 3 kills on him. And 5 of those kills were in a jet, I think. Now this is my screenshot. And he was saying that I got lucky. So I just say he's making excuses. He calls me 14. He says he'll be back later. So ask him how long. Ask him if he's back. Oi. He never gets back. <laughs> this is like a few weeks later. So ask him for one v one again. So right now you might be thinking, what? You're really still that annoyed a year later? Well, no, I actually remembered seeing him on my friends list. And I was like, hey, I wonder if this guy remembers me. So just ask him for a 1v1. See what happens. So we did have a fight. Unfortunately, again, I don't have any clips from this for some reason. But I only beat him by about one or two kills. And again, he like rage quits, if that's what you call it. He thought that I was using thermal, even though I wasn't. So this guy was actually streaming yesterday. I didn't even realise. And uh, I managed to get in his session. And he was actually killing noobs. Now, I thought most of his streams on his channel, they're free to watch. Like anyone can watch them. But he makes the one where I clap him private. Which is really annoying, so I can't use the clips in the stream. So enough of that. Let's go to a few days ago where I encounter him again. So here I'm doing what I usually do. I usually just fly around, see what's happening. See if anyone needs any help. Stuff like that. Then, the Mr. Ecock guy who's on my friends list, you'll see he starts to kill a bunch of innocent people that aren't doing anything. Now, me being me, I'm usually, I usually like to defend the innocent people, so I keep on flying around to see if he keeps carrying on. And what do you know, he doesn't stop. At this point, he actually gets in his Avenger, and he uses the turrets, which is super overpowered against bad players. So, he just farms kills. Like before, I said that he was streaming. I actually want to check him out just to see like if he was uh if he considered me a threat or something but he actually started shooting at me now the avenger turrets don't go as far so you can't actually see it on my end and it's really annoying because he actually was shooting at me but um this shows that he didn't consider me as friendly and he wanted to fight me now if you listen carefully he actually gets all canned which means that he's out of his avenger turrets and it's my turn to go in and just rip him up So I found it pretty ironic that he's saying that I can't use guns or something when he's literally just using the Avenger turrets. Like, that's even less skilled than using a jet because you're way less vulnerable. Like if someone blows you up, you're not even dead. But it's almost as if history repeats itself. And this guy, he asked me to come and play with normal guns. So I go over to a beach and we fight again. Now judging from how he played before and the fact that he's in a CEO right now, uh, I decided it's the safest option to use BST, and he was actually using BST anyway, so... So I'm sniping him, and you see that he disappears. I'm pretty confused right now. Don't know what happened. So if we fast forward it a little bit, and we see that he spawns right next to me. I'm guessing he used the um, RC car teleportation thing. Uh, I thought that was pretty dirty of him.
So after that, he straight up just turned off his PlayStation. So either he's pretty angry or I don't know. He still hasn't removed me from his fans list though. Anyway, this is going to be a sneak peek to one of my next videos. There's a bunch of guys that just come over and start jumping me. No clue why, but uh, it's uh, leads to a really weird female encounter. So stay tuned, turn on notifications I guess if you want to see that. Yeah, see you in the next one.